Hi friends, welcome back to my table. I came on, um, this is not going to be a long video and I'm not going to do cards today, um, but I wanted to talk to y'all about something. And first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your good wishes and get well and home remedies. <laughs> and I thought, well yesterday after I did the the video, I just you know lay down and you know that was pretty much it but I'm feeling much better today as you can plainly see I'm not a hundred percent and I still have some congestion and stuff but I thought bless your hearts here's what I want you to know don't worry about me I, I'm gonna be fine everything's good um, I I take good care of myself y'all I absolutely have to so don't worry about me, but but thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your concern. Um, I wanted to come on and tell y'all, and for the new people who won't know, I am also a psychic dreamer. <clears throat> now, I say psychic dreamer because I don't know what else to call it. But a lot of times, I'll have dreams, and when I do, I know they mean something. It may not be exactly the same way I dreamed it, but it's it's telling me something, it means something, and I pay attention to them. Okay? That's what I'm trying to tell you. And they usually just call them psychic dreams, so that's what I call them for lack of a better word term <laughs> um, two weeks ago I want to tell you about two dreams one I had two weeks ago and one that I had last night and the reason why I'm going to tell you about both of them is I got the very strong feeling that these two dreams are connected even though when you hear the dreams there is nothing there that sounds like it should connect them I felt like they're connected. Therefore, I will tell you about both dreams. So, back two weeks ago, when Trump was talking about the four congresswomen and the whole send them back and all of that stuff was going on, I had a dream. And in that dream, I am standing in front of the Capitol facing the building and the stairs like I'm going to walk up the stairs and go in all of a sudden I hear gunshots I see people falling on the stairs I see the bullets hitting the stairs and stuff ricocheting and flying everywhere at no point in time was I in any danger in this dream and I knew it. I never tried to hide behind anything or duck so I knew I wasn't in any danger in this dream. I'm looking around there's a few trees around and I'm looking around I'm trying to spot see where in the heck the shooter is and I can't find him and my last thought in the dream was he must be in a building okay so that's the dream I had two weeks ago now I know you're thinking well maybe that's about the shootings that have taken place no it has nothing to do with that this was I well, when I talk to my friend Sue about the dream the next morning, we talk every morning. I mean, <laughs> it's just a routine. And when I told her about it, I said, Sue, I'm worried about those four congresswomen. I'm afraid something's going to happen to them. And then I told her about the dream, and she said, yeah, I could see why you would be worried about that. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you about last night's dream. There were two things going on, apparently at different times, which was really weird. 
on one side, when I looked to one side, I saw two women who I felt like worked in the White House, even though I didn't recognize them or, you know, anything. I felt like they worked in the White House. They were talking softly, but not whispering. On the other side, when I looked, it was like I was looking at a big screen television and I would see breaking news. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the dream the way I saw it. Okay, I'm looking at these two women. And the one woman says to the other woman, I think this was planned. I think they did this on purpose. I think they took him out of the White House in the middle of the night intentionally. The other woman said to her, Do you think we'll keep our jobs? And the woman said, I wouldn't count on it. I don't think so. Okay. Then I'm looking over to what I said looks like a big screen television. And it's just, I don't know, up in the air with a big screen television. It, well, it was weird too. Anyway, and I see breaking news. If you're just waking up this morning, Pence is your new president. Trump was taken out in the middle of the night. Okay, so when I look back at the two women, they're saying the same thing. There's nothing new or different being added. They're just repeating what they said. When I turn and look at the big screen television again, they're saying the same thing. There's nothing new or anything being added. So when I look this way, I have, I think they did this intentionally. I think it was planned. I think they took him out in the middle of the night on purpose. Do you think we'll keep our jobs? I wouldn't count on it. I don't think so. But maybe not word for word, but pretty much the same thing. Then I look this way. Breaking news. If you're just waking up this morning, Pence is your new president. Trump was taken out in the middle of the night. Okay. So as you can see from the first dream that I had two weeks ago about the shooting and that, there doesn't seem to be anything there to connect these dreams. I'll be the first to admit that. But it felt to me like the dreams were connected. Like what happened with the dreams two weeks ago about the shooting at the Capitol and the dream I had last night about Trump being removed in the middle of the night. It's like he was removed in the middle of the night because of that incident at the Capitol. If that makes any sense to y'all. That's what I'm feeling. That's why I said uh, they feel very connected to me. There's a connection there. Psychic dreams are hard. Because for the most part, the, my dreams are pretty accurate, but there's generally always something different. <laughs> you know, even though they're very accurate, there's always this one thing that's different. Um, so, I don't know. I actually thought I wanted to tell y'all about the dreams. And I was going to tell y'all but after the shootings. And I just didn't want to go there. I just, you know, couldn't. But after last night, when I had that dream, and I'm thinking they're connected somehow. Well, now I got to tell you about, you know, the dream two weeks ago and the shooting at the Capitol in order to explain because I think they're connected. So, of course, I'm I'm talking to Sue this morning. <laughs> we talk every morning, literally. I'm not kidding you. 
And I, I told her about it. And I said, Sue, I think that dream I had two weeks ago about the shooting at the Capitol. And she said, yeah, I remember you told me about that. You're worried about those congresswomen. And I said, yeah, I think they're connected. She said, to the dream about the breaking. And I said, yeah, it's almost like that incident at the Capitol happens and then a short time later now I didn't get any sense of timeline or anything I'm just telling you how I'm feeling about it like it may be a few days it may be a week I don't know but a short time later boom we've got the breaking news and he's gone and we hear about it the next morning and she said I have to tell you Marie you know, that would make more sense that they would go in and remove him in the dark of night and not during the day parading him through the press and everything. She said, actually, when I think about it, that makes sense. And I said, I don't know. And she said, well, I know this. If, you've, if that's what you're dreaming, then something's going on. And I said, yeah, and I'm still worried about those four congresswomen. Because that's the first thing I thought of, those four congresswomen. So, I don't know, y'all. Um, if, you know, y'all can get someone to, to ask or look into it. And I know what you're thinking. Well, Marie, just do the cards. You do. I can't. And here's why. The dream comes from me. So automatically, it's going to be in my cards. I won't be able to tell anything. I'll get the same thing I got in my dreams because it's coming from me. But I would like for somebody else to either ask the question in the cards or something and see. Otherwise, it'll happen when it happens and then I'll go, yeah. Yeah, that's that's what my dream was telling me. I don't know. Anyway, bless y'all. Please don't worry about me. I'm telling you I am fine and I take good care of myself. I have to, so don't worry, y'all. You're, you're, you're all so sweet and loving and caring. And I'm very grateful and thankful for y'all. Thank you so much. Okay, so... um. I don't know y'all I just I felt the need to share the dream with y'all the the dreams the two I keep hoping and I do it every time I have these dreams that maybe it's just a dream and it won't happen <laughs> my friend Sue started laughing and she said yeah right right Marie <laughs> they always happen and and usually they're pretty close to being exact there's always something in there that's different or, you know, uh, but usually they're, and I said, I can hope, Sue. I actually, because I, a um, few years ago, had to tell her about a dream that I had about her mother. Actually, the dream came true pretty much. Um. And I remembered when she called me and asked me, Marie, what was that dream you had about mom? How oh, my heart sank and I knew, oh God. So it did come through and I felt, you know, really bad. And I actually got mad and I said, I don't want to, I don't want to dream anymore. I don't want to have any dreams anymore. Well, that didn't change anything. <laughs> I still have them, but it, sometimes it's so hard because you feel so bad. Um, but for whatever reason, y'all, I think it's just me. I think it's just the way I am, and I do. So if any of y'all can find someone to see what they can pick up or get, I'd really appreciate it. Because, yes, I can do the cards, but they're going to tell me exactly what I dream because it's coming from me. You see what I'm saying? Some of the, a lot of times when it's stuff that I'm getting that comes from me, it's only going to come up in my cards and tell me the same thing, but that doesn't mean anything. It's, it's just going to be coming from me. So, thank y'all. 
bless y'all. I will come back and do a card reading. As I said, I'm I'm doing much better. I still I'm not 100%. I still have a little, and you can probably hear it, congestion and head stuff. But I'm much better, and I'm fine, y'all. And don't worry about me. I take good care of myself, and I'm good. And I'll be back and do a card reading. Okay? Till the next time, friends. Thank you.